Hey what's up welcome to this video where we're going to continue to build our weapon here so if we uh, look where we left off last time we was uh, here where we had the weapon selected and we could move around and um, nothing really happened so far now you may notice that I've uh, changed the animation here so I can look up and down at the end of these videos if we get time I'll, I'll go through that um, process anyway so let's go ahead and um, begin this process of uh, firing the weapon so first thing I want to do is we want to go to the uh, BP um, weapon and I want to right click and type in custom event I want to add a custom event and we want to name this um, fire weapon Oops. let's try that again Fire weapon. Now we're going to get this error until we compile. And once we have compiled that and that error disappears, we want to jump over to the uh, ASP um, character. So what we want to do is we want to go to Edit, Project Settings, and under Input, you want to add a uh, input for fire. So I've set this up as it says fire and it says left mouse button and that that's what we're going to be using and this is under the action mapping so you want to go ahead and do that okay and uh, once you have done that you're going to right click and um, you're going to type in left mouse and bring this in so the left mouse is clicked Actually, what we want to do is right click, type fire. There we go, bring in the uh, fire. As we already know, it's going to be the, the E key, uh, the, the left mouse key. And um, once we've done that, we want to bring in our weapon. So we're going to bring in this weapon 01, which is get. And we want to drag off from here. And uh, let me just do this so it's uh, within the screen space. And uh, we want to type in child. And um, let's see, we want to get child. Is it add? no, not add child? Sorry, it's oops. So, uh, there we go, get child actor, and then from here. We want to go cast to and we'll choose weapon zero one. We want to plug this into the object. Okay, so let's just move this up here a little. Then we want to bring in that custom event. So we're going to bring off here and type in fire weapon. Let's just check. Um, oh, okay, we don't name this. Fire weapon. We need to compile that. Then we can go. Fire weapon. So all we've done here is when we press a key um, inside the character, we have cast to uh, the weapon here. And then we can call upon a, a, a function that is inside a, a, another blueprint. So let's compile this. And let's go over to our um, our weapon. So this is uh, how we want to shoot. So um, let's begin that. So we're going to begin by typing print string. And inside the print string, we're going to um, type shot and just compile this. And this is going to allow us to see 
um, text as we press the, the button so we know this is working. So as we press loud, left mouse click, you can see here in the top left we have this shoot button or the shoot text appearing. So this is telling us that the event is working and is being called correctly. So let's jump back over to our weapon. And what we want to do is we want to do a trace. So we're going to pull this out and type in line trace. And we'll choose line trace by channel. And all the traces is essentially just a line um, that is going to be projected. And once that line has been broken, we can we can set to do something. So you can see here, um, uh, out hit. So um, what we want to do is we want to set the start and the end location. So the start location is if we drag out the weapon, choose get, and we want to choose um, get socket location. So what we want to get here is the name of the socket. So it was called muzzle flash. And we're going to plug this into the start location. So what we're saying here is, is that the start of the shoot or the, or the shooting is going to be at the muzzle flash. And, and at the end, um, we want to just say it to be the uh, forward vector. So let's, um, let's do that. So we want to go ahead and choose get actor forward vector. And we're going to click off here and drag and press the times button and we want to times this. So let me just bring this up here so you can see. Press times. And we want to times the uh, we want to times vector by floor. And we're going to have a value in here, say, 2000 and then we want to add so we're going to press the add key and we want to add a vector to a vector and we want to add this vector here to this vector there and we just want to plug this into the end so if we compile this let's see what happens so if we right click and I'm just going to choose play screen. okay so first of all what we can do is we can turn debugging on so I'm going to choose uh, by duration, compile, and again, let's play. Okay. So we see we're shooting, um, but there is this issue that we seem to be shooting behind ourselves. So the way to fix that, if we are uh, getting this issue, is to go back to the graph here and we want to set this to a negative value so i'm going to choose times at uh negative 2000 and let's press compile just play from here so now we can see that the uh, gun is shooting where the uh, camera is aiming and what we can do uh, just to finish this up uh, is to set up a very basic hit result. So let's go back over here and from the uh, out hit, we're going to type um, break hit. So we're going to use this break hit result. And at the location, we want to type spawn uh, particles. Yeah, spawn emitter at location. And let's plug this in over here. And for the emitter, let's just choose something like um, explosion. And so we can go ahead and turn the uh, debugging off and uh, save this. Right click. I'm just going to go play from here. And as you can see, as I shoot on these different locations and we hit the walls, and uh, whatever else we're hitting, we can uh, see those explosions happening. So I can hit the car and uh, so on and so forth. So 
probably the the next step for this would to most likely have a, a crosshair and then so on and so forth but for now um this uh video is uh, complete thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video